Get your merch at bitterbettypodcast.com. What's up, guys? We are back with some more Falling in Reverse. The last video did we did was Ronald, and obviously that was a heavy AF song, which I freaking love, definitely on the gym playlist. But this is one of my favorite songs that I actually have on my playlist that I've reacted to that we haven't reacted to. That's a much softer side of Ronnie, and I want to share this with the ladies because I freaking love this song. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, this is Falling in Reverse, Carry On, and I know y'all haven't heard this song yet, but I think it's okay. I think it's going to have more impact because you know how I feel about lyrics. Lyrics are everything, and I think this is just a beautiful song about when, you know, if somebody passes, like, being able to carry on from there. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. I, I It's just, this is a very beautiful song from Ronnie and Falling in Reverse, and I wanted to share it with y'all. Okay. So. Okay. You ready? Okay. Let's do it.
Yeah, so what did y'all think? It reminded me a lot. Not, okay, not the songs, not the lyrics, but like, I guess the deliverance kind of reminded me of Last mm-hmm. Resort. Yeah, mm-hmm. a little bit. Like, there's just this part well, that reminded me of Last Resort. Really? His reinversion of Last Resort. Just, just the, there was a one, one part that he did, I swear, it reminded me a lot of Last Resort. Not the whole song, just bits yeah. and pieces. Like, I could hear. I, maybe well, it's, it's, I, I definitely uh, think he's as emotional. That's probably definitely. what it is. It's, it maybe might that's... be the emotion. Like the emotion comes through in this song for me, and that's what I really connect uh, with. Besides the lyrics, the way he says certain words, he just, believes like, what he says. Like it's what it feels it, like. Yeah, it just and then like the more I listen to the song and the more I thought about it, it's just like I don't know. It hits me for some reason. But it's, it took a while. It's, it took a few guess, listens, actually. I think it was the, and it's like you said, it's the emotion, but there's a certain growl that he gets in his voice whenever, mm-hmm. I, I don't know, it's like, I guess, a, a passion that he has in his voice. That's what it reminded me of that he did in Last Resort. He is passionate. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Carol? Um, so... Actually, I didn't like it as much as I was expecting to like it. Um, Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know, like, where my disconnect was. Um, Maybe it's because I'm so used to, like, falling reverse equaling, like, videos for me. And, like, part of, like, seeing his emotion and, like, captivating. And a lot, like, maybe that has something to do with it for me. Um, I still think it's a beautiful song. It's just not like, and maybe I need to listen to it again. You know what I mean? It, maybe it, it took, like I said, it, I I didn't connect with it as much the very first time I heard it, but I had added it to my playlist. And the more yeah. I listened to it, the more his the way like his voice, especially when he says, you know, death is like a one way ticket to a distant star, and he kind of gets like this emotional heaviness to his voice. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just, I I think just things that I've thought about in my life and stuff just had me relating to that song the more I heard it. That's why I wanted you to specifically see a lyric video too, so you could see the lyrics in conjunction because they are generally, and like, this is also, this is also an older song. This is from an older song, an older album. Uh, And so like Ronnie, who he is now and the music putting out now, like, especially when you have things like that are so big, like, popular monster and voices in my head and zombified and all these mega hits right like this is just one i i felt like got lost in the shuffle of the greatness that is ronnie Mm -hmm. and this was just a very sentimental yeah uh, emotional like like i said like a gentler side of of who he is and i thought it was really cool which i think is is cool and like not everybody's gonna like the same songs it's just i thought this was so different from what i normally hear from them it, I didn't just crazy. dislike the song, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I didn't dislike the song. Like, it wouldn't be something like that I wouldn't want to listen to again. It was just, I think, not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but it, maybe I was mo- expecting more of, like, a reimagined, a pop- if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah like, for sure. Uh, like, of the and, last like, I, I anticipate... Or, like, yeah. yeah. I almost anticipate everything being, like, popular monster, right? I almost bring everything back to popular see, monster popular that monster song is so important to me it's no well, that's favorite. that's the that's the song that like lyrically I it's really, my favorite i relate to on a personal level that song represents a lot of struggle that i've gone through myself right so that see, that's the, like the my favorite is in you is probably my favorite and or the last resort his reimagined version because the way he yeah. strips it down is just gorgeous and Dude, then I get to yeah. pay attention to the lyrics and realize how much I resonate with them lyrics like oh big time yeah. right like yeah uh yeah Ronnie is just in he's special he's so special Dude, and I don't I think yeah and I think that's all I was expecting yeah you know, you know I, I think and, that's uh, all it was like I was just expecting like that reimagined type of thing yeah, so, and this is this is definitely uh, almost in between reimagine and like the popular monster voices in my head type thing. It's like it exists in this other realm that falling in reverse doesn't normally do, which is you know I'm a rebel at heart, uh, you know. But like, 
yeah, I don't know. That song, for some reason, the more I listen to it, the more his voice is just mesmerizing to me. And, I mean, it generally always is. Ronnie just has an incredible voice. Like, people who say Ronnie can't sing, you're no, fucking my liar. God, that you're be- fucking liar. He's got a gorgeous voice. Who says that? People, haters say that Ronnie can't sing, oh. that, his ba- that he's falling off, his band is not special, nobody likes it. I'm like, bitch, I was at the fucking concert, okay? That shit was packed. People love Ronnie, okay? I went to see Falling in Reverse and Disturbed, and I left before Disturbed started because I was just oh, there to see. Oh, but I love Disturbed too. <laughs> I love Disturbed too, but I didn't. I wasn't into them at that point in time. Like oh. in my was, my life, like, like, I, I was like, I, you left from just what? Well, okay, <laughs> partially. I yeah. If you have not experienced Austin traffic, you just don't know. Okay, I had to beat the traffic with the Uber. <laughs> Trust me, you would understand if you live there. Well, I don't live there, but like I used to live there, and I go there often. Anyway, but. Uh, no but like when it comes like ronnie is just special like i've there's very few people that i like when i go to a concert it's because i really want to see that person like really i don't go to a concert that i just don't want to kind of see just because right right? like um but man it was incredible and the audience was crazy and let me tell you most people were there because of falling in reverse like i'll tell you that right now like Disturbed was definitely a benefit, like, and I like a lot of their songs, but like, I was I was listening to more like hip hop and stuff at that point in time. Mm-hmm. So like, um, I you know, uh, I don't know. It just it, it was what it was. But like, I I don't know. Ronnie's just fucking special. Like that dude can ah uh, his musical talent. Mm-hmm. It's just next level from some of these people. It really is. Like the yes. dude can do just about anything, just about anything. He can rap, he can sing, he can rock, and he can he roast can himself, scream, <laughs> and he can fucking roast himself, which he does. It's one of my favorite things about Often. him. Yeah, and he loves like he's the the first person, the first time in my life I want to own birds because Ronnie fucking owns birds that talk. Like I want birds that talk. I want birds that say I love you back to me. Oh, the video you showed us with him <laughs> with the dude, bird Ronnie, in his hair, and he had the rollers dude, in his hair. <laughs> Dude, he has, he has, he has, he has all these birds, and a lot of them talk, and like, he makes stories with them. I want birds now. I've never wanted birds in my life, but I want birds now. I want I birds that will talk to me. <laughs> I'd have I to take care of it all. <sighs> I'm tempted to watch so wrestling because of uh, Soraya, like, just because she's cool, and like, I kind of want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> so, she's gorgeous. Like she's ridiculously pretty, mm-hmm. almost too pretty. Can you be too pretty? I feel like you can be too pretty. I think she's too pretty. She shouldn't be that pretty. It's not know. fair to I mean, the rest of the world. Between her and and Danny and uh, from the warning, and then you got uh, Ren. Fuck it. Uh, those are three yeah. too pretty people. <laughs> well, and there's some shots of Nova that I see that I'm just like, how no, are you that cute? What the fuck is wrong with you? Too. How is that even like? I'm jealous, and I'm gonna admit it. Yeah, Some people are just too. very, very pretty. Yeah, but like, they're like ethereally pretty, right? Like, it's just like, fuck you. Fuck you for being so pretty. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> Good genes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people are just out here winning. Well, like, yeah. extra winning. But. Anyways. Yeah, so that was a cool different song from Falling Universe. Uh, com- you compare this one to Ronald, and it's like. Two different huh? people. It sounds like two different people. What? You wouldn't even know that that was the same band. Mostly. Quite literally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Literally. I think, and that's what's cool. That's honestly, that's what's cool. That's cool. What's cool about it is there's, you know, very much like Tom, it, there's something for everybody, no matter what you like. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So good for them. Anyway. Out yeah. here. Awesome. Getting the W's. We don't take, we take zero L's. All right, guys. Well, I guess we will catch you in the next one. Peace out.